love the smell of sagebrush in the morning. Wow! Jeez! Dan, what are you doing? Uh, sorry, Mr. E. But I was following this horn toad and it went under the porch. Danny, toad following is not part of your job description. I know, I know. But it was all part of this great idea I have. What great idea? Picture this. The Barnum Museum, a living desert, a fascinating collection of the local flora and fauna. It's a good idea, a good money-making idea. You know, you might be onto something there. Dan, I remember my Aunt Kathleen ran a thriving business with a reptile farm. That was before they put in the interstate. Of course, her, her main attraction was the tattooed man, my Uncle Jim. <laughs> I remember the Danny, time. Danny, Danny, come quick. I just saw a roadrunner, and guess what? He was walking. Good work, buddy boy. Take me to him. Right this way. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, oh, there you are, my little profit-making friend. Come here now. Come here! Ah! Wow, check it out, sheriff's car. Hey, buddy. Finally caught off with you, huh? What do you mean? <laughs> what do I mean? It's probably all these cans you keep stealing and recycling. So what's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? They belong to the guests who drank them, not the ranch owner's son who's out to make a profit. Buddy, you're looking at a minimum of 10 years. Ben, I really appreciate you helping me out like this. Glad to be of service, Sheriff, to you and the county. Uh, Sheriff, uh, do you really think I can handle it? Handle what? Your dad's going to cover for me. I'm having a little emergency surgery, and i got to stay off the old keister for a few days. Too many years and too many bumpy roads. <laughs> you mean my dad's going to be sheriff? Well, uh, just temporarily. <laughs> hey, Uncle Ben, lawman. Wyatt Ernst. You'll be a natural. If you need anything at all, I'll be right down the road at County General. Great, Sheriff. Here's your Sheriff's official starter package. Wow. Oh. Uh, you are familiar with 38. Oh, oh, sure, sure. Uh, 38s, uh, 39s, 40s even. No problem. Uh, what's on the other end of this? Uh, Marlene back at the office. Phone number's right there on the back. Oh, great. Uh, Sheriff, uh, shouldn't you uh, swear me in, you know, uh, Make it official? <laughs> swear you in? Sure. Oh, I suppose so. Raise your right hand. <clears throat> Do you swear to execute the duties of the sheriff and to keep your uniform pretty clean? I do. Uh, I now appoint you acting sheriff. <laughs> Great. I won't let you down, sheriff. I know you won't, Ben. <laughs> you might need this. Wow, neat, Dad. Hey, does this thing strobe or just flash? Oh, boy, this is great. It's gonna be just fine. <laughs> Y'all have fun with it now. Thanks, Sheriff. I won't let you down. Adios. You're in good hands. Bye-bye. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. Let's move along. Nothing to look at here. Well, come on, man. Let's get back to work. We've got a facility to maintain. Buddy, your dad's already starting to sound like a cop. Yeah, I know. I just hope it doesn't go to his head. I can't believe you're doing this, Mr. Ernst. I'm sorry, Sheriff Ernst. Hey, what's up? Do you believe this, Lucy? Mr. Sheriff is giving me a ticket. What? I'm sorry, but peace officers can't play favorites. Sorry about that, old girl. Look at this, Lucy. He gave me a ticket for parking a horse. You're not serious. This is a mounting and dismounting zone only. No but standing. I only left you here for a minute while I ran to the tech room. It was only a minute. Come on, Mr. Ernst, have a heart. Bradley, I'm sorry, but I already wrote out the ticket. It's in the files. Nothing I can do about it now. Nothing you can do? Well, there's something I can do. I'll write my congressman. I'll write my parents. <laughs> Sheriff, can I talk to you? Certainly. Now, I'm not suggesting that you're not entirely in the right about wanting to maintain the laws we know it here at the Bar None. You know, designated parking areas. And smoking areas. Don't forget smoking areas. This morning, I had to give a citation to a guest. <laughs> she didn't take it well. Anyway, do you think that perhaps the sheriff's department might consider educating the public? You know, with signs or something that would take the guesswork out of knowing what we can or can't do? Well, I think you've got a good point there, Lucy. Uh, I'll take it under advisement, okay? Great. I know you'll do the right thing. Sheriff, what exactly is that in your holster? Oh, well, uh, that's, uh, it's, it's <laughs> nothing. It's, uh... Is that a squirt gun, Sheriff? Shouldn't be carrying this around. It's a little dangerous, don't you think? Well, Lucy, it's it's just that I'd never held a real gun before, and uh, well, it made me nervous carrying it around. Besides, it was heavy. Hey, it's okay. I mean, you shouldn't handle a gun if you don't know how to use it. 
Look at growing up on a ranch with seven brothers, I learned early on how to handle firearms. Hey, how would you like an introductory lesson? Oh boy, that'd, that'd be great. But uh, let's just keep this between you and me, huh, Lucy? <laughs> <laughs> no problem, sir. Okay, great. Let's go. Do you think this is how John Wayne got started? I don't think so. There, that's better. Now remember, always keep your weapon pointing downrange. Uh -huh. Okay, now hold the gun firmly in the right hand uh -huh. and support it with the left, okay. like so. Okay. Excellent. Now, when you see the target, mm -hmm. squeeze one off. Got it? Got it. <laughs> okay, just keep your eyes on the target, Sheriff. Huh? Oh, target. all right. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna start with one real close and mm. then we're gonna work up to the harder stuff, okay? Right. Okay, ready? Ready. Ah! Whoa! Mr. Ernst, are you okay? Oh, uh, somebody answer the telephone. It might be a reservation. Oh, Mr. Ernst. Oh, oh Lucy. Yeah. Oh, uh, did, did you see me uh, take that evasive action there? You know, uh, it's harder to hit a, a moving target. <laughs> oh, they are these things loud and uh, dangerous. Yeah, they're real dangerous. Look, Mr. Ernst, why don't we just give it a rest for now and, and pick it up after lunch, what do you say? Good idea. Uh, real, real good plan. Yeah, you know, after all, we don't want to tire out the new sheriff too soon. What, tire me out? <laughs> Now that'll be the day, little lady. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh. I don't care oh. if your yogurt book says that's supposed to be relaxing. It's making me nervous just watching you sit that way. Danny, it's not a yogurt book. It's a book on yoga exercises. And I really think you should try it. It's very soothing. No, no, I don't think so. Whenever I find my legs contorted like that, it's usually after a nasty fall. Too many painful memories. Hey, guys. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. What is that? It's Mr. Cactus Head. It's Mr. what? Mr. Cactus Head. He'll be a great addition to the museum. Buddy, there are many varieties of cacti. There's the saguaro, the totem, the troya. But I'm not familiar with the Mr. Cactus Head. Oh, come on, Danny. Give the kids some credit for originality, huh? I mean, look at the stuff you've caught already. Armadillo, Sidewinder, Bobcat, Gila Monster. Uh, Danny, have you caught any of these? Of course not. <laughs> what would be the point of catching them if I had no place to store them? Now that I have the cages built, all I have to do is go out and catch them. So what you're saying is that the only actual exhibit we have is... Uh, Mr. Cactus Head. Mm, yeah, I guess so. Danny, don't you think a uh, Mr. Cactus Head in the hand is worth an armadillo in the bush? Buddy? Definitely. I suppose you've got a point. After all, it could be worse. It could have a hat. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a hat. No. Oh. Ow. Ow. I guess that's our best bet. Huh? Yeah. Like whoa, whoa, Lucy. What is that? Madam Sonia, gypsy fortune teller. What? Madam So... Oh, oh no. no. Uh, uh, Mr. No. Ernst, what is going on? Be cool, Lucy. I'm undercover. You're what? Undercover. Official police business. Call me madam. I don't think I could do that, Mr. Ernst. Oh, Mr. Ernst, have you lost your mind? Listen, Lucy, this is a police sting operation. I've been pouring over some of the little-known felonies of the local legal system. It turns out that in this county... <clears throat> In this county, paying money to a fortune teller is illegal. <laughs> yes, sir. As soon as someone forks over a fiver to me, they're headed straight for the slammer, or my name isn't Madam Sonia. Mr. Ernst, Sheriff Ernst, read my lips. You are going Listen, to... Listen, Lucy, they're getting suspicious. Let me read your poem. <clears throat> I see, yes. By examining your lines here, it looks like you'll have a long and successful career as, uh, as an acrobat. Uh, either that or a laundromat. I don't know. Your hand's kind of dirty. Do you know that? Really? An acrobat? Mm -hmm. Oh, Mr. Ernst, you've got to stop this. What you're doing is called entrapment. You are setting people up, and that's against the law. No! Yes! And it's not being very nice to your guests. Besides, I think you've got the criminal element of the bar none pretty well in hand. Well, I, I no! think you've got... Thief! Thief! I, I've been robbed! Oh, no. What? Yes. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
What's going on here? Something's missing from Miss Vanderdiddle's room. My silver charm bracelet. It was special. It had my name engraved on it. And now it's gone. I think someone should call the police immediately. Uh, Ma'am, I, uh, I am the police. Oh, you are not. Uh, no, really, I am. I, I, I've just been working undercover, see? <laughs> Under the influence is more likely. Now, what leads you to believe that there was a burglary? Well, I left my bracelet on the dresser near the door, which uh. I always lock. And when I got back from mountain biking, it was gone, stolen. Gee, we haven't had a B&E &E on the B-N since I became boss. B&E? &E? Breaking and entering, ma'am. Well, there was no breaking. My door was still locked when I got back, and so were my windows. So, so, so the thief had access to your room. Sounds like an inside job to me. Oh, my nail pond is gone! Oh, this is a conspiracy! Oh, it's terrible. Oh, are you okay? She, she's your hyperventilating. Give me the bag, Jenny. Here, read it to this. Just take it easy. Just take it easy. Breathe in. Breathe in. Oh, Danny! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I forgot. Lunch lit. Merciful God, I should never have left Kansas. Oh, there, there, Mr. Russell. Sheriff Ernst, I'll find your needle point for you, won't you, Sheriff? Oh, uh, yes, yes, of course. I, I want you both to rest assured that I will not rest until your personal property is returned and the thief is behind bars. <laughs> Yeah. Now, I'll just uh, ask you both to return to your loved ones. I have a job to do. Yes. Yeah, go get him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When stalking the wily perpetrator, it's important to proceed with caution and maintain silence. Come in, home base. This is Mobile One. Do you copy? Over. This is Mobile One calling home base. Repeat. Do you copy? Over. I know you're there, Marlene. Uh, squawk twice if you can hear me, okay? Okay, we're in business. Marlene, I'm proceeding east past the bunkhouses in pursuit of the perps who stole my guests' personal property. They may have headed out for the open desert. If so, We'll have to call in the National Guard for a helicopter search. Are you with me so far, Marlene? Marlene, are you there? Marlene! Squawk if you can hear me, Marlene. Come on, squawk for me, baby! Continuing his quest for the elusive Needlepoint Bandit, the stalker lightens his load and widens his search pattern. I just can't believe my dad's the heat. It's making me nervous. Yeah, I know what you mean. You know, besides a general concern for global warming, I used to be a pretty laid-back guy. Come on, Jake. You break into a sweat when the FBI warnings come on at the beginning of home videos. You're right. I guess I have a problem with authority figures. What can I say? Do you suppose he'll find any clues? Hard to say. If there really is a thief, he or she is probably long gone by now. Or else. Or else? Or else maybe he or she is... <laughs> Us. Good point, Jake. Rumor has it there's a brisk trade in hot needlepoint just over the border. And what about the silver charm bracelet? Yeah. The silver charm bracelet with the letter spelling out the name Vanderdibble on it. Definitely a limited market there. Oh, yeah? Well, then who do you think stole the stuff? I don't know. But now, I'm off to hunt the elusive desert salamander and other potential candidates for the Living Museum. Shall we, buddy? We're out of here. Hey, guys, now remember what Tarzan used to say. The crust between an elephant's toes is not always dirt. Sometimes it's slow hunters. Hey, man, it's a jungle out there! Oh, come on now, Jake. That didn't hurt. Oh, no. Pulling hair to someone's scalp with a tweezer is a fun thing. You know, when I really want to have a good time, I'll do it to myself. That's, of course, if I can't find a big hammer to bang my thumb with, you know, you know, that's fun. Jake, I'm sorry, but I need a hair sample from everybody to send to the boys in forensics. What? Yeah, to match up with the, with the hair sample I took from the scene of the crime. The boys in forensics? Doesn't the police crime lab have more important cases to investigate than a uh, missing needlepoint? Well, it's not, strictly speaking, the uh, police crime lab. Uh, no? It's Mr. Rohde's chemistry class over at the junior high. A summer school chemistry class is investigating the theft? I can't believe this. 
And I can't believe you think I stole the stuff, Uncle Ben. Jake, 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 nobody's saying you stole anything. As part of the investigative process, I'm simply questioning all the staff members as to their whereabouts during the commission of the burglary. Now, can you account for your activities during this time period? Uncle Ben, I can't even account for my existence on this planet. Could you be a little more specific, please? <laughs> that's, that's a good one, Jake. Okay, humor me on this one, buddy. Uh, can you uh, possibly recall what you were doing during lunchtime? I was eating lunch. Prove it, dog breath! What? I I'm sorry, Jake. I uh, was just trying out the old good cop, bad cop routine. You know, where one cop's a good guy, the other one's a meanie. <laughs> yeah, well, I think you need two cops for that, Uncle Ben. But it was a nice effort. You really think so? Yeah, it was good. Hey, uh, thanks, Jake. Now, how do I know you really are my nephew anyway? I beg your pardon. How do I know you aren't some clever imposter? How do I know you haven't done away with the real Jake? And hmm? come here to steal Ida Rill's needlepoint? Come on, Uncle Ben. Think about it. Would I admit to being your nephew if it wasn't true? Well, uh, I guess you got a good point there. Yeah, I did. <laughs> knock, knock. Hi, guys. Am I interrupting anything? Yes, and thank you for doing it. Wait a second, Jake. What's on your face? What? Oh, he insisted on fingerprinting me. Mr. Ernst. All part of the investigative process. These rash of burglaries must be stopped. Mel, tell him I was with you during the burglary. Yeah, Mr. Ernst, Jake was with me during the burglary. Mm-hmm, see? And where were you during the burglary? I was with Lucy. With Lucy? I thought you just said you were with Jake. Oh, um, no, no, I may have been with Jake. I mm -hmm. forget. Um, well, look, look, I definitely know I was with myself. Good. Oh, <laughs> mm -hmm. I was with myself. Buddy! Dad, guys, Danny and I just caught the thief. You, you what? what? Yeah, he's right out. Oh, let me out of There. Do you feel lucky, punk? Go ahead. Make my day. <laughs> Can you believe it? A pack rat. I should have known. Yeah, Buddy and I were staking out this little fella's nest when I saw something shiny. Well, it turned out to be Miss Vanderdibble's bracelet. And right next to it, Miss Rill's needlepoint. A stakeout, huh, Dan? Gee, I, I always wanted to go on a stakeout. Why would a mouse want my needlepoint? Oh, hey, maybe he has an eye for fabric. It was for his collection. <laughs> but is it usual for mice to collect silver charm bracelets and needlepoint? Oh, sure. Your average pack rat collects all kinds of weird stuff for its oh, nest. Yeah. What yeah, I don't true. understand is how it got in and out of the guest houses. Yeah. It must have crawled through a hole in the wall. It's pretty easy for something that's small. Well, I'm fairly certain there was more than one of them. Probably an entire hole-in-the-wall gang. Oh. Nevertheless, oh. I think our junior detectives here have put a major dent in the doings of this little career criminal. Good work, men. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. oh, rats. <laughs> Obviously not a vegetarian. <laughs> 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 maybe you'll have a chance to be sheriff again. Yeah, maybe. Boy, sure, I'm gonna miss it, Lucy. It's nothing like living each day on the edge, seeing the seamy side of society most people only read about, uh, walking that fine line where every life and death decision has to be made in the blink of an eye. Frosted or jelly, Sheriff? Um, oh, gee, uh... Frosted. No, no, jelly, jelly. No, um... Here, why don't you have one of each? Oh, thanks, Mel. And, uh, by the way, you, uh, you don't have to call me sheriff anymore. I'm turning in the badge today. I want you to know how much I, I appreciate, though, this, this daily donut delivery. It's, it's been my favorite part of the job. Well, it's been a pleasure to serve you, <laughs> sir. Mm -hmm. Hey, everyone, look who's here. Don't get up, Ben. Ooh, wait, Lord, look at there. I done died and gone to Sheriff Ed. Help yourself. <laughs> Interesting taste. See, that's the oat brand. It helps keep your cholesterol down. Oh, that's good stuff. I guess the hard part's trying to keep the oat brand down. <laughs> <laughs> I was just kidding. Man. It's real, real good. Coffee, anyone? Oh, I like coffee. Sheriff? Thanks. Thanks. Oh, that's okay, Ben. After all, you are my standby sheriff. I am? What? You bet you. I heard what a crackerjack job you did keeping the peace. Oh, thanks, Sheriff. And I, and I wanted to tell you that it's been an honor, a pleasure, and and a, a real personal source of pride to be given the opportunity to, to serve and protect this, this fine community of ours. Oh, you I... got a little jelly right there on your chin. Oh, uh, thanks. <laughs> Sorry. Well, I guess I best be going. Oh, uh, Sheriff, uh, here are your things. A uniform, a pistol, and a flasher, walkie-talkie, hat, and... Uh, Here's your badge. 
Ben, why don't you hold on to this? Save me from having to remember to bring it back the next time. You mean it? The next time? Why, certainly, now that I know I got a man I can count on. <laughs> why, I might even take some of that vacation I'm due. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Sheriff. That's great. Thanks, Thanks now. Bye -bye, I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye. Oh, boy. Now, you see, Mr. Ernst, you did a great job, and you were appreciated. Yes, Mr. Ernst, and I promise you I'll still bring you your donuts every morning. And I'll, I'll bring the coffee. Hey, yeah. I'll still be able to take a snooze once in a while in the station wagon. Absolutely. <laughs> and, hey, even though you won't be officially on the force, the force will be with you. Sure. Uh, ben, I've just about forgotten this. Well, thanks, Sheriff. Hey, wait a minute. This is a ticket for double parking. Yeah, apparently a few weeks ago you double parked and blocked old Judge Reinhardt's Chevy. I forgot all about it. Sorry. <laughs> oh, another donut, Mr. Ernst? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, staff, valued guests. I want to welcome you to the first time ever look at the Bar Nun Museum of the Living Desert. <laughs> Not even I know what our young naturalists here have been able to round up. And now, uh, mothers, I want to remind you this is not a petting zoo. Please, let's hang on to those young ones. Ready, buddy? Ready, Danny? Here we go. On the count of three, a one, a two, a three! Danny, I don't believe this. You, you had 2,000 square miles of desert, and this is what you came up with? Well, think of it as a start, Mystery. It takes years to create a truly great museum, a century sometimes. Centuries? But our season ends Labor Day. I told you you wouldn't buy it. He doesn't have to buy it. Remember, we gave him free admission. Well, well, what is this, a, a rubber snake? Well, it's nearly as flexible as the real thing. Yeah, and Danny, excuse me, but what does a kitten have to do with the living desert? Well, the kitten lives on the ranch. And the ranch is in the desert. Oh, man, I don't believe this. The zoo looks a lot more like a cuckoo's nest to me. <laughs> you said it. Uh, Danny, I, I can't ask the, the public to pay to look at a, a, a parakeet. Well, it, it's in the quail family. Yeah, the penguin family, too. Yeah. yeah. And, and what is this here? It looks like a, a dead turtle. It's, it's not dead. It's, it's resting. Now, resting in peace is more like it. Danny, is there no actual wildlife in the entire show? I mean, well, what about that thieving pack? Huh? Well, what, have you got him in here? Is he in this box? Uh, no, the pack rat broke out of jail. But I was able to replace him with a real denizen of the desert. Oh, well, what a deal. Let's see it. Yeah. Look at this. It's a stuffed skunk. <laughs> 